Is there a new requirement in the food delivery industry? Stick around and let's find out. Before we get into today's video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If you are interested in the food delivery business, whether it be directly or indirectly, because sometimes some of the things we cover may not be directly involved with carrying food and delivering food, but it'll be related to it. So go ahead and hit the subscribe. Now, let's get into today's video. All right, I was uh, picking up at a local restaurant here where I live in Wichita Falls, and there is a note on the door. I don't know if y'all can see that, but if you can't, I'll read it to you. Okay, here's what it says. Attention, starting today, which today is the uh, 16th, so it must have been two days ago now, June 14th of 21. We must require anyone picking up food for third party services to have a food handler's card. If you do not have one, you will be unable to pick up your customer's order this includes DoorDash, Uber Eats, Bite Squad, Grubhub, and Postmates. Well, obviously they're behind because there is no more Postmates. Uber bought them out. So, now the thing of it is, here's what we do know. And this is Texas. Other states may be different. In October 2015, the Texas Department of State Health issued a new rule requiring all employees, get that, employees that work with unpackaged food, food equipment or utensils, or food contact surfaces to take a food handler's training and be certified. So, if you're handling the food, first of all, if you're an employee, which we are not an employee, we are independent contractors. Secondly, we do not handle the food per se. We do not handle the uh, utensils. Do not package the food. Now you're thinking, okay, you handle the food. No, not really, because we don't have that bun in our hand or the tortilla or whatever. We have it packaged already. Do you have to have a food handler's card to go buy groceries? Hmm. It's a good analogy. No, you don't. Because we are not touching the food. It is packaged by the restaurant for the customer. We are just merely a delivery service. So as of right now, and as far as we know, there is no requirement, so they can't legally put that sign up. However, they are their own business, so I guess they can refuse service. And that may be the catch. They can refuse to serve anyone that they choose. So that could go into effect. I'm gonna look up and let's see what uh, DoorDash has to say about it. I already looked it up actually. All right, I can't read this little print with my shades on. So what are DoorDash's food safety handling requirements? In order to protect the safety of all users of the DoorDash platform, as of August 31st, 2020, all dashers, merchants, and consumers who use the DoorDash platform must wear a face cover or mask while they are interacting with other platform users. 
This includes while deliveries are handed off from merchants to dashers or to customers and while deliveries are handed off from dashers to customers. Face covers can be made of cloth. Should cover your face from the bridge of your nose down to your chin, from there to there. Not from here to here. I don't get that. What's the use of wearing it? Um, and be secured to your face. Surgical mask or N95 mask. Respir respirators are not required. In order to ensure standards of food safety, merchants may require all dashers to have insulated hot bag during their deliveries, which you should have one anyway to keep the people's food warm and cold, if that's what the case is. You may use any hot bag of your choice to get a DoorDash hot bag. You can purchase one online, doordash.com. Okay, here's the thing, pick up. Do not open food containers or tamper with the order in any way. So, you're not handling the food. You're handling the packaging. Wrap the food in your full blanket. Huh? Wrap the food in your full blanket, then place it in your hot bag and zip your hot bag closed. Keeping the food hot will ensure food stays safe in transport. A parrot didn't say nothing about having kind of tin foil or uh, what did that say? T yeah, foil blanket. Because you know, on the inside of these, that's a pretty good foil blanket. It's a foil box. That is common sense. Keep their food fresh and warm hot as possible so there's other rules but as far as the food goes that's all they say let's jump over and see if there's anything on uber eats that says anything about requiring a food handler's card okay this is all i can find on the uber eats website it says uh, proper handling of orders. Restaurants must maintain valid restaurant licenses and or permits. Many prepared foods are perishable and can cause illness if not properly handled. Such foods can be potentially hazardous if not maintained under the proper time and temperature controls prior to pickup. Y'all get that? prior to pick up so in Texas as of June 16th 2021 there is no requirements to have a food handler's card if a restaurant uh, puts a sign up like this particular restaurant in Wichita Falls did that's unlawful if they have a sign up that says they can refuse service to anybody they choose, that is legal. So, in theory, technically, yes, I guess they can put that sign up, but it won't be because you don't have a food handler's card. It'll be because they just don't want to have you as a customer or a delivery person for their customer. And keep in mind, y'all, use a little common sense. I kind of get, if you think about it, put yourself in the restaurant owner's shoes. If you think about it, if you had a rep good reputation, or a reputation, which I hope most restaurants would have a good reputation, you don't want that food to make people sick or be cold or anything else. So you as a delivery person are pretty much responsible for to ensure the food gets delivered properly. And knowing how to handle that 
yeah, you really should know how to handle that food. So do I think you should have to have a food handler's card to deliver food? Yes and no. No, you really, you really shouldn't. However, you should have common sense. But the thing of it is, is if you've never worked around food, never had anybody teach you anything about handling food, yeah, some sort of course would be beneficial. And as you know, you know, if food is not properly maintained at a certain temperature within a certain length of time, it can ruin. Now, I would hope that you're not going to have a, somebody's food in your vehicle for an hour to two hours. That's... Uh, uh, that would not be good. Generally, you're going to have their food anywhere from one minute up to 15 minutes. Uh, it could be a little longer. Depends on how far you got to go and uh, traffic and road work and stuff like that. But, yeah, just if, if you do not have a food handler's card, I wouldn't sweat it. But if you don't have any experience in handling food, you could take the course. It's not, it certainly isn't gonna hurt. And who knows, they could come up and say that would be one of the requirements. If you had one already, you would be prepared. Prior planning prevents, well, never mind. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Remember, this is dealing with Texas. If you're watching this somewhere else, go ahead and look it up for your own state. Because Grubhub, Uber Eats, DoorDash, and all that are going to go by the Food and Drug Administration, uh, Health Department, whatever. They're gonna abide by their rules. And regulations and whatnot and requirements and that's going to roll downhill to us so anyway i hope y'all got something out of this and if you have any comments i i would like to hear what y'all have to say about this handling of food and this sign have y'all seen this sign up at anywhere at your restaurants where you are at let me know and what what have you been told have they told you that you can't take the food if you don't have a food handler's card? Let me know. I, I, I want to know. So in the meantime, y'all keep on dashing, dancing, and prancing, and whatever it is you want to do. The main thing is be happy and keep smiling. I will talk to you guys and gals later. Bye.